Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with Rhino Shield's Impact Protection Screen Protector for iPhone XR. So I just got my new iPhone XR this morning, don't want to leave it unprotected, and I love the fact that Rhino Shield's Impact Protection Screen Protector is going to give me 5x the screen protection of a regular screen protector. So I'm going to do an installation here in this video and then see how it looks. Let's get started. Looking at the details of the screen protector, as I mentioned, this absorbs five times more impact energy than normal screen protectors. It's fingerprint resistant and easy to clean, scratch resistant, has impact dispersion and impact damping, is high strength and has a zero residue adhesive. They also say that it is thin as three sheets of printer paper, which actually doesn't sound that thin to me, but let's put this on and see how it looks. Looking at the contents of the box, we have a microfiber cloth, we have the screen protector itself, we also have a very nice big dust removal sticker, and we have a card to push out bubbles with. In order to have a successful install, be sure to be working in a clean, dust-free environment and make sure that your phone is extremely clean. You can use the microfiber cloth to clean it off and then follow this up with the nice large dust removal sticker that they include. Once your phone is lovely and clean, it's time to put on the screen protector. Note that we have two tabs on here, A and B. The A tab is the one that you remove first. This is going to expose the adhesive. And then the B tab is the one that you take off after everything has already been installed and you don't have any more bubbles. So note that we don't have any kind of installer here, so you have to line this up by yourself. So make sure everything, again, there's no dust whatsoever when it comes time to put down the screen protector because that is definitely going to mess up your install. So uh, take one last look at your phone and remove any additional dust and then lay it down once you have removed tab A to expose the adhesive. You want to take your time to make sure everything is properly positioned and then gently lay down the screen protector. Okay, well, I am ready to remove tab B. Okay, so looking at our results after about 24 hours, really impressed by this. Install was actually very easy, even though there's no kind of application tray or anything like that. It was reasonably easy to get on. Now, it doesn't mean I got it on perfectly. I'm actually slightly off to one side here, but not enough so I feel like uh, taking it up and repositioning it, because in my experience, that can result in worse results just because you might end up getting like uh, dust or dirt or something like that trapped underneath it and I did not get anything trapped underneath it when I did the initial install so I'm happy to leave it this way. Overall I think that it still has really quite a good fit on the phone. Don't have any kind of haloing or anything like that. So in terms of thickness, this is a very thin screen protector, even though on the box it says that the screen protector is as thin as three sheets of printer paper. I don't know why they say that, because to me, there's no way that's three sheets of paper thick. It's maybe one sheet, so I think maybe they need to update the info on the box, because this is a really nice, thin screen protector. So it's quite case compatible. It's going to work with lots of cases, no problem. In terms of our performance, I think it's really actually very good. So I am normally a big fan of tempered glass screen protectors. I love the feel of tempered glass and the optical clarity, the oleophobic coating, all of that, and the scratch resistance in particular. So I really enjoy using tempered glass screen protectors, and this is not a tempered glass screen protector. However, the feel underneath the fingers, very, very similar to glass. This is very smooth. We've got great optical clarity. I do notice that this has a little more fingerprinting than you would see with a tempered glass screen protector or with just your regular iPhone's screen, but it's much better than with most plastic screen protectors that I have encountered. And with this one, you're going to get that 5X impact protection, which is very impressive. So that is excellent. The other area where this is probably going to be a little weaker than your standard tempered glass screen protector is going to be in scratching because this type of special polymer is great against impact, 
but not so great against scratching. So um, with a tempered glass screen protector, you're going to have very good performance against fingerprints and scratches. With this type of screen protector, you're going to have very good performance in keeping your screen from breaking. So it all depends upon what it is that you want. But overall, really impressed by this. I think it's a beautiful screen protector, does a great job in protecting your screen and still being really pleasant to use. Again, really impressed by the feel of it. I did not think it was going to be this nice. So a uh, really great product here from Rhino Shield. This is their impact protection screen protector. And uh, if you're interested in checking it out, the MSRP is $24.99. It's available directly from Rhino Shield as well as from other retailers. I'll put links below where you can find out more about it. And many thanks to the kind folks at Rhino Shield for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to address them. And if you're interested in subscribing to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button because I have lots more great case and accessory reviews yet to come. Again, this is Kristen and this is the Impact Protection Screen Protector for iPhone XR by RhinoShield. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your iPhone and have a wonderful day.